Let's start this program by telling you more about an innovative French startup we recently met up with. It's called MindBlue, and its founders are developing a unique connected bracelet to help doctors diagnose depression and prevent patients from relapsing. The device that follows a precise clinical model will be tested by a prominent psychiatrist in Paris over a three-month period. It affects some 350 million people worldwide and is extremely difficult to diagnose. But these two Frenchmen may have found a new way to deal with depression. The difficulty with depression is the diagnosis. They say it takes five to eight years on average between the emergence of the first symptoms and the start of the treatment. Denis Fonperine and Pierre bassalet merpilla think new technologies can help detect and treat depression at an earlier stage. Together, they developed MindBlue, the world's first connected bracelet, which monitors early signs of depression. These include physical signs such as heart rates, blood pressure and body temperature, but also patterns of behavior, like how much sunlight the patient is exposed to. The data is then structured and prioritized by a powerful algorithm and transmitted to doctors who decide on the appropriate response or treatment. Data means nothing by itself. If you don't know what you're looking for, you won't find it. We provide an algorithm which learns from this data and identifies different behaviors, and that will help doctors establish a preliminary diagnosis. To develop MindBlue, Denis and Pierre partnered up with head psychiatrist Dr. Nous at the hospital Saint Antoine in Paris. The bracelet will allow us to identify these parameters over time and see whether a pattern of depression is forming. The people who will wear these bracelets will already have a history of depression. And when the bracelets give the first signs, they'll be able to contact their doctors who will try to determine whether they're really at risk of relapsing, even if they don't know it themselves. MindBlue is currently undergoing testing at the hospital Saint Antoine. The first bracelets aren't expected to hit the market for another 18 months.